But what we're doing today, like I said, is just to drive from the Apo roundabout. And I want to show you guys how to get to Lokogoma from this section and the things you can find as you're driving along this road. empty space the okay to my right is the burial ground for the muslims and the christian burial ground on the on the right the road as you can see is just one way one going and one coming which is a small road and uh, they're trying to expand the road all the way from asokoro oh no all the way from nyanya down i don't know where it's going to end but they've started the work they've cleared part of it on the left hand side the major problem people find or get when you coming out this way in the mornings is the traffic. Traffic here is tight because a lot of people live in this direction and there are loads of estates here. But what we're doing today, like I said, is just to drive from the Apo roundabout and I want to show you guys how to get to Lokogoma from this section and the things you can find as you're driving along this road. The time now is 12.06 in the afternoon and you can still see a bit of traffic as we're going. You just imagine what it is in the evening when offices have closed, people have closed from their places of work. It's tight. That I can tell you guys is tight. <laughs> All right, I think I will just stop the video here and continue when we have cleared a bit of this traffic instead of keeping us just waiting in traffic. To my right, this empty spot you're seeing used to be filled with a lot of mechanics, but uh, recently they asked them to leave and they've left. They've, somebody has actually fenced the place. That tells me it's uh, somebody's property and maybe because they were not ready to come then, so people just occupied it and we're just using it. The road to my right here at this intersection actually takes you to Gaines Village. Uh, it's a straight road. You will pass through a Gudu Market, Gadwa Estate Area, Prince and Princess, till you get to Games Village Area. To so our left is an estate. I don't know the name of this estate. I'll look for it and impute it in. Uh, is Efab? Okay. I just learned it's called Efab Estate. You can see also traffic. People living, trying to live always tight in this area because there are loads and loads of people who live in these places and there are loads of estate here in these places. Um, apart from that there is a the resettlement 
I think I've done a video about that place that I can also put that in the description for people who have not seen that video to click and watch. Imagine how tight this road is. Somebody is still trying to overtake me because <laughs> he's making his own lane on my left hand side. I'm just wondering where he's going to. You still see him that he's trying to cross. He's coming. You still see him now. He's coming. He's a taxi driver. You can see. He's trying to squeeze in between. Oh my god. Well, maybe that's the way they drive here. Maybe because it's not my route, I, I don't understand that you can do that. But for me, it's a dangerous way to drive and I don't think it's, it's the right way to drive. Obviously, I think that's the way they drive here, creating a third lane. We're almost getting to the intersection that will take you to the left to take you to Apo Resettlement. But we're going to keep going straight because we're trying to get to Lokogoma. We're driving on the side of the road, trying to get to the front, trying to beat the traffic that we're in right now. This intersection to our left takes us to or takes you to Apo Resettlement. But uh, like I said, we're going straight. We're trying to get to Lokogoma. So, guys, we're off. We're in traffic for almost five minutes. And there's a big supermarket or a superstore, I would say, to uh, our right. It's called ShopRite, it's in front. Uh, shop right. I think this is the first shop right that was built in Abuja and they built it here but there are several other ones now after this one they built other ones so I don't know whether you guys can see this in the video you can see empty space to my left that is where they are they are clearing they're trying to make a new road this road is going to be i think 
uh, dual carriageway or even more i'm not too sure what they're planning to do but i think it will be so and it's gonna gonna be a big gonna make a very big difference if this road is completed because uh, it's gonna carry a lot of traffic in and out and there will be hold up or traffic like we like we always experience or people experience when they are on this road going in or coming out Now we just hit one uh, place again where we'll be in traffic for a while. I will cut off and continue after this section. That's the name of the place called Kabusa Junction, and and that is that what brings you on this road. That is Lokogoma Road. What happened is that because they're trying to expand the road because of the traffic, uh, they they have graders, uh, vehicles tipping sand and all that. So we had to like find our way, and we're here right now on. Lokogoma Road and we're driving to Lokogoma. On this road you see a lot of estates on my left right as we're driving along. I, I think in Lokogoma, I'm not too sure, but I think we'll have close to, uh, if I'm not exaggerating, oh, close to 50 estates, or no, if no more, in Lokogoma. I, 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 I've done a video which will be coming out soon. I did a video showing the, the, the whole of Lokogoma as it stands and the places I was able to drive to on that day and uh, trying to show you guys the estates that I that are within that I drove and I found, you know, it's a massive place. It's a very massive place. That video is coming out soon. Stay tuned. If you've not, uh, if you're not part of this family, just subscribe so you'll be part of this family. You'll be a member, and then follow me also on Instagram at Big Goose Photography and Big Goose Picture This. It will be nice to have you there too. Estate to my right coming up. You can see all the buildings. I hope you guys can see them there. And this road itself is called Ring Road 2. This road, according to what I've seen uh, some time back, I saw on the master plan, this road is also supposed to be as big as I think the one they are constructing now, um, or as big as even uh, Ring Road 1 which is the one everybody called Beggar Road, you know. And there are also different communities or settlements that are to my right. Um, there are a couple of them. I don't know their names. Okay, one is called uh, Duse. We passed that some a few minutes back. It's way behind there. It's called Duse. There is a, they have like a used market there. Okay, uh, if you guys can remember days ago, I did a video about me driving with my daughter and we came to buy suya this is the place that we came mask here and we say within here and uh, in front of us where the traffic light is is called ebano junction <laughs> uh, there's a story to this place i'm going to show you a bit of the building then i'll talk about it all right, the, the story goes and there's a, sh a big shopping mall here to my right. You see it as you go past it. It's called Ebado. I think a few months ago, like two, three months ago, uh, it was raised down, it was burnt. Uh, 
you know when the when we saw it at first everybody was oh the place got burned down maybe it was an accident and all that but the security camera showed that somebody actually set the place on fire and the funny part of it is that it's a very small child i think she's about 11 or 12 i'm not sure she's up to 15 you know that set the place on fire it's crazy billions of billions of worth of property at the buildings itself were completely raised down you guys can see it there completely burnt down completely a small child set the place on fire well it is not for me to judge how or why she did it but whatever it is it is it is a bad thing you know for a child to think up such a thing and go and set a place on fire what she did was she went to the lighter so she went to sell lighters set something on fire there with the lighter and you know they had a lot of lighter with gas in them that's how the whole thing went and the whole place got burnt well i sorry i'm i pity the man who owns the place i don't know what he's gonna do i just hope that he has insurance and uh, <laughs> i don't even know what they're gonna do to the child because she's too young and i don't i don't even know anyway that's not for me to judge all right we're in lokugoma we're driving right now uh i've shown you guys what it is to drive from uh, apo roundabout to lokugoma taking the apo road thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the like button so that the algorithm knows that oh Yo, you guys like my videos all right follow me on instagram at bigos photography and bigos picture this see you guys in the very next video Ciao. Subscribe, like, share, comment, see you in the next one.